I got my Mavic Mini Fly More combo in the mail today, or UPS brought it. And it's cool how it's packaged with all these nice little boxes and they have symbols on them of what they are. And it comes with everything pictured here, plus some cables and stuff that aren't pictured. And then you have this really nice uh, case. And everything fits nicely in here. I'm surprised how small the drone is. It's this small. I mean, here's the size of my hand. And the drone folded up is that small. And it's so lightweight. It's probably the weight of your phone or less, even with the battery in it. So I went ahead and um, put on the propeller protectors. So the drone is very small as you can see. And it has a three axis gimbal stabilizer um, for the camera. And sensors down here pointing down for if you're inside so it can stay up off the floor. Because um, then outside it uses GPS, um, but not inside. And then you have your memory card slot and your charging port if you want to charge it. Um, if you want to charge the battery while it's in the drone, and then you can open up the spot back here and enter the bat or put the battery in. And it has a little light back here that can flash, I think, red and green, I think just for setting up the drone, kind of. It's probably not that bright one, it's up in the sky. Um, and the blades just kind of flop around, and then once, then once the drone's flying, the blades will be opposite, you know, spinning around really fast. But they just are like that, because this whole thing can fold up. Um, these front legs fold back and then these back legs uh, fold up underneath so it ends up looking like that. It's pretty cool. So I have the battery pack charging right now which has been charging for a while. These were all dead except for this battery um, had one little light on so that meant it was 25% or less charged. So this battery charger analyzes the batteries and charges the one that um, has a little bit of life left charges that one first that way you can get back to flying faster and then it'll charge the others. I think this one's almost done. Uh, it just has a charger base it came with, um, a USB cord, micro USB. It has a USB port because you can actually use this as like a um, portable power bank to charge your phone or whatever. You can charge your um, remote for the drone from this if you want, although that's going to eat up some of your battery life obviously. There's a little power button you can press and check how full the battery is. So right now that one's saying it's full, but it's not all the way because it's still charging it. And then you just grab a hold of that little piece right there and it unclips and you can slide these out. So I'm waiting for one of those to be fully charged before I try my drone for the first time. I don't know if it's going to happen today, probably tomorrow. It's getting dark. Um, luckily this drone, the person I got it from, is barely used, only flown a couple times. It came with a 256 gig SanDisk Extreme memory card, which that would be $20 to $30. So I got this used for like $325 um, on eBay. And uh, you know, they can even, even use, they can get up to $400 or more. Um, I think brand new they're $400 to $500. And this is the Fly More combo, so usually it's the higher end. And then you have the um, remote, it has a battery inside, you press the power button, shows you the battery life, it's all charged up. It comes with all these little cords here. Um, this one fits my Samsung phone, there's also a micro USB and an iPhone connector. <coughs> comes with extra joystick um, knobs down here that store down there. You can just um, have those, that way this whole thing can be folded up small in your pocket if you want, just like the drone, to take it and travel with it easily these screw off so obviously there's an extra set you could just keep these and then pull them out and screw them in when you're ready to fly that way you don't have these sticking out for when you're traveling or backpacking or whatever um, these the phone holders down here that you would put your phone right in between um, and then plug in your phone down here um, you would fold these shut So that takes up less room, and then your antennas, that one goes down, and then this one goes down. Um, and then you would probably unplug this wire, but anyway, say you want to have the joysticks here, you could literally just put this in your pocket, and then the drone is pretty small itself, you could put in your pocket. Um, it's pretty cool. So you can hold, press and then hold down, and that turns on. 
the drone and now it's on. And you have your return to home button, your record video, take picture button, your scroll wheel to scroll the um, gimbal, the camera, up and down as you're flying. And then you can press it, press and hold, and turn it off. So, um, yeah, you just have the remote, the battery pack, and the drone. And then the carrying case, obviously, which is so nice. This is like a pretty fancy case. And the drone folded up is just fits right there. And that's it's a small drone. It's amazing. And this drone can go like 2.5 miles out if it's probably flatter area and then up 400 feet. Um, it can actually go above 400 feet, but you're not supposed to. So it's pretty awesome. I cannot wait to fly it. So hopefully I'll get some good footage soon. Beanie, what you doing? What you doing, honey? Say bye. I love you, Beanie. I love you. Bye-bye.